Hi and welcome to another Living Radically video. Uh, this is part two of three on how to find a cheap flight or how to find a cheap airfare anywhere in the world. Last time we talked about kayak.com. Today I'm going to be talking about Bing Travel and what I use Bing for. So without further ado, let's get started and I'll show you what I do. Okay, so here we are at Bing and I want to show you uh, two main features, uh, two main ways that I use Bing. Uh, this is really to determine the question of when. Now, I know from Kayak uh, which flights I want to use, which dates I want to use, uh, which airlines I want to use, which airports I want to use. I know all the what. Uh, now I need to know the when, as in, should I buy my tickets now or should I wait later? It's an age-old question. Do airfares go up and down all the time? If I buy now, am I going to be losing out because airfares are going to drop uh, later on down the line? This actually allows me a way to tell if I should buy now or buy later. It's one of the few ways I use Bing. I'm going to put in city pairs and some dates here, and one adult, and I want it non-stop. Uh, this is to really let me know if I buy now, our fare is going to be going up later on. So this is the section I'm really interested in, this price predictor. It's building my prediction that says I should buy now. This basically means fare is going to be rising steadily as I get closer to the date of departure that I selected, which is March 16th. That's 72% confidence. So it's pretty, pretty confident that this is going to happen. Uh, that's all I really wanted to know. Sometimes it's going to say fare is going to be staying steady. Sometimes it says wait, fare is going to be dropping by 50 or $100. So this is really uh, something that I use when I have already laid out my itinerary and my dates pretty confidently, but I need to know if I should wait to buy my tickets or if I should buy them right now. Let's go on to the other option or the other way I use Bing. So sometimes I do use the uh, Bing's flexible search feature. They have some cool ways of displaying information that Kayak doesn't. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my departure city, uh, which is Los Angeles, and I'm going to get some pretty cool information showing up here. So these are fares from Los Angeles to all these different cities around the world. And it's going to show me that just the lowest fare that was found uh, that was available yesterday. And uh, it, so if I just know, for example, that, uh, hey, I, I wanted to, uh, I, I didn't know where I wanted to go, but I, I do I know I want to go somewhere, this is kind of a good way to browse and peruse and see and say, hey, is there a good fare? This is actually a pretty good fare to Rome right over here. Uh, maybe you want to go to Rome for these couple days, and it'll already give you the dates that this was found. That's pretty interesting to do. So the other one to do is when to travel. So let's say I know my departure city, and I know that I want to go to New Orleans. Uh, this is going to tell me the best times for me to depart. And this is pretty cool. Kayak does this as well using their calendar view that we saw earlier. But this is actually kind of a cool linear graph here and showing me the dates along this axis. Showing me, hey, maybe mid-March is a really good time to go. It's pretty cheap compared to uh, some greater than $400 fares. Although this is definitely not a good fare from LA to New Orleans, by the way. But um, I digress. The other thing that's pretty cool is it's going to show me how long I should travel for. And this is really important as well, something that you don't really see in airfares uh, that often is the length of the trip. You can see if I was going to leave here, I can pay $283, spend, uh, or I can leave $227, come back $32, and get a pretty good fare. Whereas if I was going over here, I'd pay more than $2,000. And this is going to use different departure dates, different return dates, basically a different length of travel. How long should my vacation be to get the best fare? Now again, if you're flexible, it's going to save you a lot of money. Uh, and it's pretty intuitive and you can just move your mouse around here and then when you click it's going to show you the details for that particular day. So it's a pretty cool feature, pretty cool lay laying it out. Uh, so that's how I use Bing. Two main reasons. Uh, again, the uh, pr pr uh, Fair Predictor, which is one, it's, this is one of the few sites that has it. And then also on the flexible side if I want to just peruse some possible destinations, possible times to travel and possible lengths of my trip, this is a great way to get that information for particular destinations. So that's Bing Travel. That wraps up part two, and look forward to part three later on. Uh, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and check out livingradically.com. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you soon.